So here's the video of the 1946 Willys Jeep. Um, just pulled it out of the shop here to get a better picture of it. So I'll do a little walk around. It's got a pretty decent paint job on it. You know, nothing like really fancy. Um, I've only probably washed it a couple times. Didn't really spend a lot of time on it. But um, you can see it. The seats have been recovered with like the canvas. I uh, probably like military type stuff. Um, you can see everything in here in the floorboard and everything is kind of as it should be. There's some things like you know, some paint chipping on some of the clamps and things that actually have function. Um, you know, as you use them, that stuff happens. And around the body, there's kind of a couple little things here and there, but probably here because when you throw your feet in. I catch my foot on that. So, everything works as far as I know. Has the uh, accessory um, tow hook that's kind of as an option, I guess. It's kind of cool. Um, this ammo box was mounted by the previous owner. It's just a couple bolts. I kind of left it because it's kind of cool to throw stuff in, but it could be unbolted and taken off. You see, no, no frills in here. It's just basically just kind of like a flat paint. They can just throw stuff in there and haul or whatever. Um, windshield folds down, of course. Mirror. Um, I put these, uh, these were new old stock, like bi directional Jeep tires I put on. Those are the stock original rims that I had sandblasted and powder coated um, all the way around. I put those back on. Um, underneath, you kind of see that it's pretty clean underneath. You know, it's kind of undercoated or whatever body was taken off and did a real good job you know underneath it's not like show quality or nothing like that but it's it's fairly clean it does drip a little bit here and there I think so when I park it for long periods of time I see some a couple drips but it doesn't seem to be low on oil or nothing like that um, and then on the inside like on the instrument cluster so like this is the stock gauge, but these have been switched out to like Stuart Warner, kind of like a period, um, you know, like a 50s or 60s type gauge because they're 12 volt and the Jeep was originally six volt, but I do have those gauges and there's nothing recut or anything like that. The only thing it was changed was it has ignition here when you turn to start it instead of using the foot pedal. Um, and there's a little bit of paint here where the paint, where the key is kind of swung on it. So, and then we go on to the engine here. 